Good morning. Welcome back to Indiana Farm Boy. Today we're up here uh, in northern Indiana at a training for Trimble GPS. We're just uh, south of Francisville, uh, Indiana. Uh, it's actually where Fraco Tile is manufactured and we're at a training for Slaters. So today we are learning all about Trimble and the GPS that I use uh, all the time for tiling. So I come up here every year and it helps us give a refresher course and make sure we're doing the best job we can for our customers. So we learn, we go through the monitor, our desktop software, everything, common issues, common ways to fix them, best way to do the best job for our customers. So there's a bunch of contractors here and it's put on by Slaters um, and they are a Trimble and Braun dealers. Hi guys, we're up here at Slater's shop and I figured we'd uh, check out what was going on outside. So if we look right here, it looks like we got a wolf plow, two of them actually. Let's see what we got here. Uh, doesn't say what size it is. Probably a 400. It's an older machine. It's very similar to one that I've been around a lot. Very similar. The only difference is the way the boot's attached. Um, but yeah. So that's somebody's here is getting worked on. And over here we got another wolf plow. Oh, this is a 400. So um this is a little bit newer one i think a little bit newer more refined design i don't know if they might be owned by the same person um they definitely have the same closing system up there hydraulic but that might be built by slaters it's got an automatic reel on it Let's see what else they got they got some big big tile boots right here for machines let's go check out up here out front So here you go right here is a old wheel machine that everybody still uses this is for putting in big mains they at slaters actually re redoes these and sell them sells them with different boots for what your location is the guys go through here basically slaters they not only are dealers they also redo machines and manufacture their own modifications to drainage machines um so they got sprockets there they redo stuff for people but they got some real old ones up here up front which i think are cool so this one is an old track with wheels old engine let's see old international tractor engine hand crank start let's see what this says it's a is it a buckeye yeah it is a buckeye out of finley so i don't know what it says but yeah you got it's like the tire I mean, made two it's like a double rim tractor tire they extended got pads all the cables and there's the wheel machine and then it had a wooden boot it was made out of wood this thing is cool it's cool get out so you would not want to be on it all day though i could tell you that and i'm sure it does not go very fast so this one looks like a little bit of a newer buckeye the model 302 that one was like a 12 something so actual real tires looks like the engine sits down in what type of engine though it doesn't have a face plate to know what engines in it but we got the same type of tracks just smaller and they basically just have a truck differential that comes right off that drives it and then we go back here but this time we have a steel boot and then on the other side they just have wheel an extra wheel laying against it for a wheel machine so these are some really cool old stuff this one they had thank you francisville sponsors and all kinds of different stuff but they used to have an old barth sitting here so i don't know what happened to the old barth um i was going to show you that one that one's real really cool so out here we're just checking out what they got going on so they have in the back some maybe some more cool junk I shouldn't say junk more cool stuff in the back that's just it's just awesome to check out and they've been around for a long time and doing this so they got all kinds of neat stuff laying around pieces of boots and 
different size boots and different tiling machines, different applications through the years. So, But we appreciate them having us up here to train every year and putting this event on. I know he puts a lot of effort into it. So uh, it's much appreciated. Um, we all we all love to learn and it's good also to meet other contractors and hear experiences and problems they've had so that you don't have the same problems yourself. My name is Joey Schleder with Schleders Incorporated. We just finished up four days of our GPS school covering everything Trimble and water management. I'll be down at the Louisville Farm Machinery Show next week, so come check us out.